Hello everyone, my name is Shizana and I would be giving you a brief introduction regarding the Japanese literature. Japan, it's also known as the land of the rising sun. It's considered as one of the major bodies of oriental literature. Both in quantity and quality, the Japanese literature ranks as one of the major literatures of the world, comparable in age, richness and volume to English literature, though its course of development has been quite dissimilar. The surviving works comprise a literary tradition extending from the 7th century AD to the present. During all this time, there was never a dark age devoid of literary production. The Japanese literature reveals a lot of influence by the Chinese literature from the ancient period all the way to the Edo period, which corresponds to the early modern Japanese literature. The Japanese literary works also reveal elements of Indian, and later of western elements but above all they reveal a distinct style which has also greatly influenced both eastern and western literatures there are four periods in japanese literature i'll give you a brief summary of each of these periods Introduction of Japanese Literature Japanese literature can be divided into four main periods. Ancient literature, classical literature, medieval literature, and modern literature. Before the introduction of kanji from China, Japanese had no writing system. At first, Chinese characters were used in Japanese syntactical formats, and the result was sentences that looked like Chinese but were read phonetically as Japanese. Chinese characters were further adapted, creating what is known as manjigana, the earliest form of kana, or syllabic writing. The earliest works were created in the Nara period, this include Kojiki. 712, a work recording Japanese mythology and legendary history, Nihon Shoki, 720, a chronicle with a slightly more solid foundation in historical records that Kajiki, and Manyoshi, 759, a poetry anthology. One of the stories they describe is the tale of Hiroshima Taro, which has been identified as the earliest example of a story involving time travel. Classical Japanese literature generally refers to literature produced during the Heian period, referred to as the golden era of art and literature. Genji Monogatari, early 11th century by a woman named Murasaki Shikibu, is considered the preeminent masterpiece of Heian fiction and an early example of a work of fiction in the form of a novel. Other important writings of this period include the Kokin Wakashi, 905, a Waka poetry anthology, and Makura no Soshi, 990s. The latter written by Murasaki Shikibu's contemporary and rival, Sei Shonagon, as an essay about the life, loves, and pastimes of nobles in the emperor's court. The Iroha poem, 
Now, one of the standard orderings for the Japanese syllabary was also developed during the early part of this period. The 10th century Japanese narrative, Takatori Monogatari, can be considered an early example of proto-science fiction. The protagonist of the story, Kaguya Haim, is a princess from the moon who is sent to earth for safety during a celestial war and is found and raised by a bamboo cutter. She is later taken back to her extraterrestrial family in an illustrated depiction of a disc-shaped flying object, similar to a flying saucer. Another notable piece of fictional Japanese literature was Konjaku Monogatarishu, a collection of over a thousand stories in 31 volumes. The volumes cover various tales from India, China, and Japan. In this time, the imperial court particularly patronized the poets, most of whom were courtiers or ladies-in-waiting. Reflecting the aristocratic atmosphere, the poetry was elegant and sophisticated and expressed emotions in a rhetorical style. Editing the resulting anthologies of poetry soon became a national pastime. During this period, Japan experienced many civil wars which led to the development of a warrior class and subsequent war tales and related stories. Work from this period is notable for its insight into life and death, simple lifestyles, and redemption through killing. A representative work is the tale of Heike, 1371, an epic account of the struggle between the Minamoto and Taira clans for control of Japan at the end of the 12th century. Other important tales of the period include Kamono Komis, Hojoki, 1212, and Yoshida Kenkos, Churi Zorigosa, 1331. Other notable genres in this period were Renga, or Link Verse, and No Theater. Both were rapidly developed in the middle of the 14th century, the early Muramachi period. The Meiji period marks the reopening of Japan to the West and a period of rapid industrialization. The introduction of European literature brought free verse into the poetic repertoire. It became widely used for longer works embodying new intellectual themes. Young Japanese prose writers and dramatists struggled with a whole galaxy of new ideas and artistic schools. But novelists were the first to successfully assimilate some of these concepts. A new colloquial literature developed centering on the I novel, with some unusual protagonists such as the cat narrator of Natsumi Soseki's Wagahai Waneko di Aru, which means I am a cat. Natsumi Soseki also wrote the famous novels Bochan and Kokoro, 1914, Shiga no Oya, the so-called God of the Novel, and Mori Ogai were instrumental in adapting and adapting Western literary conventions and techniques. Ryunosuke Okotogawa is known especially for his historical short stories. Ozaki Koyo Kyoka Izumi and Ichiyo Higuchi represent a strain of writers whose style harkens back to early modern Japanese literature. In the early Meiji period, 1868 to 1880s, Fugazawa Yukichi authored Enlightenment literature, while pre-modern popular books depicted the quickly changing country. The realism was brought in by Chobochi Shoyo and Totobete Shimei in the mid-Meiji. Late 1880s and early 1890s, while the classicism of Ozaki, Koyo, Yamada, Bimyo, and Koda Rohan gained popularity, Ichiyo Higuchi, a rare woman writer in this era, wrote short stories on powerless women of this age in a simple style in between literary and colloquial. Kyoga Izumi, a favored disciple of Ozaki, pursued a flowing and elegant style and wrote early novels such as The Operating Room, 1895, 
in literary style and later ones including the Holy Man of Mount Koya in 1800s in Colloquial. Romanticism was brought in by Maury Ogay with his anthology of translated poems 1889 and carried to its height by Tosan Shimazaki and magazines Myuju and Bungaku Kai in early 1900s. Maury also wrote some modern novels including The Dancing Girl 1890, Wild Geese 1911, then later wrote historical novels Natsume Soseki, who is often compared with Mori Ogai, wrote I Am a Cat 1905, with humor and satire, then depicted fresh and pure youth in Bachan 1906, and Sanshiro 1908. He eventually pursued transcendence of human emotions and egoism in his later works, including Kokoro 1914, his last and unfinished novel, Light and Darkness 1916. Shimazaki shifted from Romanticism to Naturalism, which was established with his The Broken Commandment 1906 and Katai Tayama's Futon 1907. Naturalism Hutch I novel Watakushi Shusetu that describes about the authors themselves and depicts their own mental states. Neo Romanticism came out of anti naturalism and was led by Kafu Nagai, Jun Ichiru Tanasaki, Kotaro Takamura, Hakushu Kitahara, and so on in the early 1910th. Senyatsu Musha Nohoji, Naoya Shiga, and others founded a magazine Shirakaba in 1910. They shared the common characteristics. Humanism. Shiga's style was autobiographical and depicted states of his mind and sometimes classified as I novel in this sense. Yonosuke Akutagawa, who was highly praised by Soseki, wrote short stories including Rashomon, 1915, with an intellectual and analytic attitude, and represented neorealism in the mid 1910s. During the 1920s, and early 1930s, the proletarian literary movement comprising such writers as Takiji Kobayashi, Tenji Kuroshima, Yuriko Miyamoto, and Iniko Sata produced a politically radical literature depicting the harsh lives of workers, peasants, women, and other downtrodden members of society, and their struggles for change. Wartime Japan saw the debut of several authors best known for the beauty of their language and their tales of love and sensuality, notably Jun Ichiru Tanizaki and Japan's first winner of the Nobel Prize of Literature, Yasunari Kawabata, a master of psychological fiction, Ashihei Hino, wrote lyrical bestsellers glorifying the war, while Tatsuzo Ishikawa attempted to publish a disturbingly realistic account of the advance on Nanjing. Writers who opposed the war include Denji Kurosima, Michuharu Kaniko, Hijo Uguma, and Jun Ishikawa.